I need to get this out real fast before it starts to go away. I'm a little delirious at the moment, but let's get this all out there. Uh, pataphysics. Uh, it's a term I'm borrowing from, uh, well, a work of fiction that is about how fiction and reality are really only separated by layers of framing devices. Uh, basically, uh, any work of fiction is, in fact, real, it's just a matter of a separation from what's making it that, uh, changes it. I'm... <sighs> oh, this is... gonna be real hard to do short. Um... So... I've... I'm not sure if it's the overreactive imagination waking up once more, if it's just kind of a tone I keep hearing that reoccurs just because I've heard it once, but once you notice the patterns, once you have that idea, once you think recursive imagination and try to use it as something else, once you see the pattern of narrative, it shows up in wound works of fiction around you, even whenever it's not something you look for. It feels like a sign, and I'm... <laughs> Who's to say that fiction can't interact with the creator? Who's to say we can't interact with the god of whatever this is? I'm... Um, uh, I'm gonna go break down. Um, I might have a bit more once I'm done breaking down, as I normally do, but... Uh, I, I need to... The biggest issue I have with these is trying to sound the slightest bit sane. But... A change in the basis of what you feel like is real, and something that you've been observing for... Well, I've been observing it personally for about two months now, uh, maybe three. And, uh... It's... It's getting a little rough, uh... I hope I can communicate it better once I fully understand it, but I know that ideas involving the nature of narrative, pataphysics, whatever you want to call it, whatever, I'm just going to go with pataphysics because I like that term and it sounds cool. So once you understand pataphysics, once you truly believe it, it seems like more ideas of pataphysics from other people seem to gather around you. I'm not sure if that's actually the case, or if it's just the human brain finding patterns that aren't really there, but it seems to appear in so many works of fiction that it's hard to think otherwise as it's a reoccurring theme that feels real.